Hey friends, welcome back to Go On Ministries. Guys, in this video we're going to be doing a report on the Bible Box and basically going through the whole year and just doing a summary of how it went. If you're new here, the first time you're clicking one of our videos, my name is Charles and again this is Go On Ministries. We're a traveling ministry, we give out a lot of Bibles, we preach, we are just so passionate about the Lord and thankful for any of you guys who are watching today. Now friends, over the past year, and don't forget the Bible Box was created in 2023, we gave out 335 Bibles. So we were so stoked about that. That's nearly a Bible a day, and we didn't start till May. Now that's not an intentional rhyming, but that's what it is, friends. We started the Bible Box back in May of 2023 and had 335 Bibles go out. And that's just such a huge praise, and we're so thankful, of course, for all of our ministry partners, and we're going to get into that here in a little bit. Uh, but if you're a person who received a Bible from us, and you're watching this video now, just know that we, are, we love you guys, and we're beside you. We'd love to come along with you and pray for you. So drop a comment or find us on Facebook or Instagram. Our email's in the description, and we'd love to stay connected with y'all. You know, friends, beyond the Bibles, we were able to give out some extra biblical items, and one of them that we really like giving out is this devotional by Alistair Begg. So, friends, if you want your own copy of it, because we do highly recommend, check out the link in the description below. You guys can go over to Truth For Life and purchase your own. They actually have two editions. This is the first year. Then they have the second year edition, and we really love Truth For Life Ministries. We love Alistair Begg. And if you check out at the bottom of the page as you're reading the devotionals, it's going to give you the reading through a Bible in a year. Let's take, for example, July 24th. It says, Bible through the year. You're going to read Psalms 35 through 36, as well as Acts 17 1 through 15 so that was just such a joy this year to see some of these resources go out as well as the bibles and when i say that we gave out this and we did that and we did that i mean we so friends we have some amazing partners in the ministry we got some people that support us monthly and then we got some people that come alongside as we meet them and the holy spirit puts it on their heart just to give into the ministry and so we have a ton of people that have done that throughout the year and made giving the Bibles, going to events, preaching at churches, uh, giving out literature, all the stuff that we do, you guys help make that possible. So we want to say a huge thank you. And we're just so encouraged at all the guys and gals who've came alongside, go on ministries and just decide to support us. So in that support, again, towards the end of the year, we were able to stock up on Bibles. So we're down here in Florida. We kind of call Colorado home, but guys, we live in a travel trailer and we head out to basically all ends of the United States. And we were able to get together a good collection of Bibles, whether we were buying them or we had some friends send in. For example, we had a box of Spanish Bibles land on our doorstep. And so we had a box and some friends gave us a box. We're fully ready for all the Spanish Bibles. And then we had a, a box from another friend of 40 English Bibles come in. And then towards the end of the year, we felt like the Lord was putting on our hearts to start giving out large print Bibles. So we ordered three boxes of large print Bibles and we have that here. So we feel really ready for Florida and everything that it's going to bring for us. Now guys, something throughout, as we began to give out Bibles, we realized quickly that we wanted to give out a little Bible quick start is what we're calling it. So I talked about this a lot in the videos and we printed out a couple thousand of these. Now it just gives you little uh, scriptures to look up on these topics like salvation, hope or comfort, prayer, grief, loss, and if you can trust the Bible, as well as some of our favorite scriptures on there. We really thought that if you got a Bible for a first time, you might want a little Bible quick start just to get you pointed into some of the right directions and of course some of the spots that we felt people should see first. And so we've been really encouraged. We have a bunch of these that we give out at churches. On the back of it, it shows people how to get connected with us and then that way we can pray alongside people and it really just is something that you can put in people's hands so again, when you guys are supporting the ministry, it might go to stuff like that. 
It might go to camera equipment, all different areas of the ministry. But we're just so thankful for each and every support that we get. And most importantly, all the prayers. Again, friends, we travel full time. We live in this RV and we need all the prayer we can get. And we know that we feel it's like it's under us, scooting us along down the highway. And we just love all the prayer and support that we get. So again, guys, thank you so much for all of that. Throughout the year, one of our joys and something that we would love to get you guys to partner alongside us for is we were able to get some Bibles into the hands of some of our friends over in Uganda. Now we got some English Bibles as well as some Bibles in their native tongue. And that way we can make sure, just like with the large print Bibles, uh, that people can read it, that they can understand it, because we don't want to be a ministry where we just tell you, oh, we give out these many Bibles and this many people came to the Lord and this many decisions and all about numbers and figures and you just start getting kind of boggled down in that. No, we want to see true discipleship. We want to see people come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ and we want to see growth in their lives, in their families, in their communities and pouring out to the nation. So that's why we do the Bible Quick Start. That's why we realized, you know, a little bit into it that maybe people had troubles reading the fine print on the regular NIV Bibles that we were giving out. So we got some large print Bibles now. And again, we're able to get Bibles over to Uganda in their language. And friends, there's a huge ministry need there. That was just kind of scraping the surface. So we have some trusted ministry partners over there who have been in Uganda and Kenya and that region and just ministering for Jesus for years and years. We met them, uh, I've met them twice, Jolene's met them once, and so we love these folks and we want to just keep seeding into their ministry. So friends, if you want to be a part of that specifically and, and nothing else, just let us know. Again, hit us up in the comments or message us, email us. There's plenty of ways to get in contact. Real quick, friends, if you would, head over to the description of this video. I want to make sure that you plugged in for our newsletter. So we put out a newsletter maybe once a month. It's a little sporadic, but friends, what we do with that is the first part is a little bit of a sermonette, if you will, just a short read, and then we get into current events in the church. So we're all watching the news, whether it be CNN, Fox, NBC, and we're getting a little bit of knowledge of what's going around the world but my aim for the middle section of that newsletter is to know what's happening in the church i really have a passion for the church i love the church and i want to see it flourish there might be needs that come up that we see that we need to be praying for maybe we can give to or maybe god will put on your heart through one of these newsletters to head over to the nations and help in a hands-on manner so that's some of the stuff you can see uh, in the middle of the newsletter and then we finish off the newsletter with a little bit of what's going on over at go on so we make sure and keep you guys up to date we try to do some stuff on these videos and social media posts but that's just a nice spot there at the end of that newsletter to make sure that you're up to date with what's going on over at our ministry now don't forget we're going to get to towards the end of this video we're going to talk about how the bible box did over in late November and all of December. So it's been a little bit since we've done a video and I'll tell you a lot of Bibles came out. So make sure and hang back for that. But something that's been so special for the Bible box is the attic. Now guys, if, you, if you've been familiar with the channel that you'll see that a lot of people are leaving prayer requests in the attic of our Bible box. And that has been some of the most humbling aspects of our ministry and it just, awakens my eyes to what people are praying for and some of the needs i would say that we see a lot of themes we see some of the same prayer requests but then we see some that just rock me and i just it just humbles me so I'm, i got a couple that came off again we're talking that november december time frame and i'm gonna read them to you guys and i read them so that you guys can pray along with us i leave off the names but friends i just encourage you to get in your heart into a place of prayer and we're going to read these over and over. Jolene and I would walk around. We might pick them up from time to time and read them. Uh, and we're going to come back through and read all of them. Uh, but friends, here's a couple. So they're praying for health and then the, the peace for this baby who died. And so they're asking that, it, that the baby rest in peace. And friends, let me just tell you that not only are, are they praying 
for that baby, but we know that there's got to be some hurt and sorrow and brokenness for whoever's leaving that prayer request. So we, we're we with you, we're alongside you, and we just, we're, we've been praying for you, and we're down in the trenches with you. The next one said, God bless you guys. This is an awesome idea. I want to start this in my town. Keep it up. Now keep this prayer request in mind, because we're coming back to this idea in a little bit. But I'll tell you what, you got a ministry going, and people come and speak into your life and encourage you. There's nothing better. We got people, we're just like you guys. We need the love. We need the attaboy and stuff like that. And to get notes like this or people come up and see the prayer box. Even today, someone came up and was just excited about that prayer box and the Bible box. And it was really neat to, to, to hear that and to be encouraged. The next one was, I want prayer for all my five kids so they can follow God's will in their lives. Thanks, Romans eleven thirty six, and you know what? What a that's that's the main objective for a parent is to be praying and petitioning the Lord on their behalf. You have the most influence that anybody's going to have in their kids' lives, and you know we're with you and we're praying for your five children right alongside you. What a huge huge request! And so another one uh, here is says, please pray for me. I have left and come back to God so many times. My spiritual peace is very little, and I have uh, prayed for years. Not much has changed. I fear that God rejected me for good. Lord, help you. Lord, help, and then thank you. And then they left their name. And so I'll tell you what, the Lord has not left you. It's usually us who walk away from the Lord. Obviously, you're pursuing the Lord. And you're you're reaching out and you feel like he's not hearing you. But I can tell you what, he's he's right there knocking on the door of your heart, just like he is everyone else's. And he's such a good, good father. His scripture and his word remains true. As the first time it was written down, as the ink hit the paper, it's the same then as it is today. And we have these promises that we can stand on, promises of peace and protection and comfort. We have the hope of a future with God, and we're with you. I can tell you, we are with you, and we're, we're going to continue as we have been praying over these prayer requests. So I have a stack here. I'm adding these two, and this is some of the stuff that we've been entrusted with over here at Go On Ministries to pray alongside these folks, and we really do just appreciate y'all coming with us to stand in the gap for some of these folks. Make sure and drop a comment if you have a prayer request. We're going to get to each and every one of those. And in fact, one of the prayer requests in there brought up a really interesting topic. So one of the things we want to see happen is people get encouraged to build Bible boxes of their own. And we were so happy that throughout the year, we saw my folks end up building a Bible box and put it in front of their house. And so we've seen it several times. And I'll tell you, the moment they built that, the Bible started coming in. They went on a little escapade around town trying to find Bibles, and they were just flooded with them. They got many of them for cheap, you know, at Goodwill, and some of them were even free. And then someone at their church came alongside and dropped a load of Bibles on them. And I tell you, friends, just like that in your finances and your personal life, as you start giving to the Lord and you step out in faith, God's just going to flood it. And that's been my experience. All my Christian friends, that's been their experience. That's just who God is. And so we really want to encourage you guys, if you're interested in starting a Bible box, just do it, man. And we're going to put our money where our mouth is. And we want to tell you guys, if you build a Bible box, send us a photo of it. And we want to fill that box for you. So we're going to send you your first box of Bibles for free. And we want to stuff that full of Bibles. And then you can take it from there. But we really hope this encourages one of y'all. And if you want to take us up on that, just send us a picture of your Bible box and we'll get you some Bibles. But like I said, we're going to get into how the Bible box did as we closed out 2023. All right, friends, so we're going way back. So we're headed over to November 17th. So Jolene and I, we were over at Brahms in Oklahoma, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So Brahms is an ice cream company, but they also have this thing called an affair of the heart. 
So that's an arts and crafts show. It's really big in Oklahoma. They got one in Oklahoma City and in Tulsa. So on November 17th, we were over there and we gave out one English Bible. On November 18th, we gave out another English Bible. And then on November 19th, we gave out two English Bibles. So that was an interesting area. Some people consider it part of the Bible Belt. There's a lot of Christian folks there, but there's always a need for the Word of God. And, and that was probably one of the places where I saw a couple folks pick up the Bible and realize they couldn't read it. And that was one of the times where I was like, all right, we need to start thinking about this large print idea. From there, on November 26th, we were over at a cowboy church in Lufkin, Texas. Now, friends, that's the church that my folks go to. And we got to go over there and have a message of hope. So we were preaching and had a great fellowship and we were able to bring in the Bible box. Now in that, friends, we always bring the Bible box even if we go to churches. It's really fun to show it off and let people see uh, the actual box that gives out all the Bibles that we give out. But we always see some Bibles go out when we're at churches. So we had, what do we have? We had two English Bibles go off over there at the church and Again, those are Bibles that we're praying over, just like the ones at Brahms. And, and we even pray before we go to places. You know, I was speaking up at my uncle's church in Squim, Washington, and in that sermon was heavy on, you can pray for the Holy Spirit to fall in front of you, fall in your community, fall in the town around you. And so that's what we do over the, the Bible box, is we ask the Holy Spirit to go out before us wherever we're going, and, and, and we pray that we're going where God wants us to go and that the Holy Spirit will just move in the Bible box out there. Uh, and then we went over to Canton, Texas. So we do that. It's the world's largest trade days at first Monday trade days of Canton, Texas. We were over there uh, on 12-1. We had one English Bible go off. On 12-2, we had one English and one Spanish Bible go off. And then 12-3... We had four English and one Spanish. Uh, just a whole crowd of people marching through there. And it's so humbling to see people respond to the Bible box, whether it's for themselves or maybe they thought, you know what, I need to give this Bible to a friend. Whatever it is, we're, we're praying alongside it. And again, they're getting one of these Bible quick starts. So I like to think that, you know, if you're in an emergency and you call the ambulance, the ambulance needs all those tools to give you the help you need right now. Imagine not knowing the Lord and then you find the scripture. I mean, you're in deep trouble. You're in an emergency. And so this is an emergency card for folks. And, and I think it gives them the quick tools to just get in, get right with the Lord. And again, on the back, we offer up to be accountability partners, prayer partners, prayer warriors. We want to stand in the gap for these folks. So that's what you're going to find on the back of those cards. Now this next section, we are at the Grand Junction Mall over in Colorado. So we were there from this, the 7th, well we were there from the 7th, but we were giving out Bibles from the 8th to the 24th. I'm going to speed through this guys just because I want, I want to keep the video shorter, but keep in mind, all of these Bibles going out are potential souls, potential <laughs> Billy Grahams will say. Potential pastors, teachers, leaders, worship leaders, or just everyday folks that are going to keep doing their same job, but they're going to do it to the glory of God. And so every one of these folks that got a Bible here, uh, we're, we're just praying that some heavy stuff comes out of all this whole list. But friends, over here, again, we're going to speed through it real quick. On the 8th, we gave out four English Bibles. On the 9th, we gave out four English, one Spanish. On the 10th, we gave out one English and one teen Bible. We don't have a lot of that, but we had it and we gave it to a teen. Uh, on the 11th, it was one English Bible. On the 12th, it was two English Bibles. On the 13th, two English. Uh, on the 14th, one English. 15th, two English. 16th, two English, one Spanish. The 17th, one English, one Spanish. The 18th, which just happens to be my birthday, was one English Bible. The 19th, we had no Bibles at all. And then on the 20th, we had three English. Uh, the 21st, one Spanish. The 23rd, one English. And then, uh, no, the 22nd, one English. 
the 23rd, three English, and then Christmas Eve, the 24th, we had one English Bible. And so, friends, if you wouldn't mind, would you just pray over that huge list of Bibles there? That was at a mall, friends. And that's the, that's the encouraging thing that we've been able to take, in part due to our business, the Bibles to places where sometimes they don't belong, according to the world. And it's just been astounding to see the little Bible box glorifying God in all these places. And so we like to think wherever we go, we, you know, we invite Holy Spirit to go before us and aside of us and around us and to prepare the way. So the Holy Spirit settled in these places and it just, whether it's people seeing it and it touches their heart or they respond and pick up a Bible or they might even come up and tell us, you know what, that's awesome. And just like that lady, she's like, I might build one of these for my own town. And again, we want to be the folks to put a Bible in there for you. Uh, but friends, that's what we had going on in 2023. We got to speak at a lot of churches Got to give out this stuff. Got to pray with folks in our booth. Got to give out some other extra biblical literature. Again, make sure if you're interested in a good daily devotional, head over to the description and get your hands on one of these. Uh, and friends, we were loved on too. I talked to you guys about all the ministry partners. And one of the biggest things we've had in our life ever was this camper that I'm filming in now. So if you haven't, I'll put a link up here. For you guys to go check out but this camper is a ministry tool we like to call this god's house because you know what it, it it still sometimes doesn't feel like home it feels like we're in god's space we're just here in his house and that's because we had these awesome ministry partners that saw what we were doing the preaching the giving out bibles the going to the nations and they wanted to bless us and friends that's just so huge we're so encouraged by that, it's not even funny. It helps us to wake up every day knowing we're on the right path, uh, but it's it's a community deal. And I'm hoping you guys are catching the idea behind that. It's a community deal. We got a great team behind us, and 2024 has already been amazing. We preached at a brother's church, Lumberton. Here it is on my hat. We preached at his church in Mississippi, and then the second weekend, we're preaching over here at this fair that we're at. So right now the camper is parked at this fair and we're doing a county fair over here in Florida. We preached last week. We're preaching next week. Uh, so friends, we are just encouraged about the, the local church. We're encouraged about the greater church. Like I said in the newsletter, we want to talk about what's going on at the greater church. And then, of course, we're just so encouraged about evangelism and telling people about the Lord. Uh, we serve a God who's on the throne. He's able to move, he's ready to move, he's willing to move on behalf of those who will seek him. So we see that as prayer, and we see prayer as a direct connection to God. You know, Jesus talks about it a lot, that we can actually talk to the Father. And so the intercessor is the Holy Spirit. He's going to interpret all of our moans and groans, uh, but we can, have, we can call him up, and he's going to answer every single time. So we serve such a good God. He's so worthy of praise, so worthy of all the adoration, and we are just so blessed to be in his company. So friends, again, if you have anything to pray about, drop it in the comments below. We're going to cut it there because this video is already long, but you know what? 2023 was worth it. We appreciate all your time if you're still hanging out with us. Uh, but friends, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, until the next video, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you, look upon you with favor, and give you peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Friends, again, we serve such a good God. Till the next video, God bless, and we'll see you then. Well, friends, we sure hope you enjoyed that video, and if it did anything for you, make sure and let us know in the comments below. And while you're down there, go ahead and drop a prayer request. We love praying for y'all, and we get to each and every one of those. And if you want to know more about our travels and adventures and the gear that helps us get up and go on, follow us on our other channel, Go On Overland. We'll see you over there.